hey guys welcome back to my channel and um today i'm doing a you could say it's a wig review um i did lose the card for this wig so i don't i know it's a crochet wig and it's from sensational but anyway let's jump right into the video this is how the wig comes out of the pack i've already plucked the parting area and it's a crochet wig with a little piece of lace on the top so for me to achieve the look that we're going for i'm going to rod the hair so this is i'm using the purple rods clearly and i'm going to section it off into little sections and start um wrapping the hair around it i do that little hook method at the top so that the rod doesn't um slide out as i um wrap the hair around it so that's what i'm doing right now And I'm going to continue this throughout the whole head. Make sure not to take too much hair onto the rod because you want the hair to be really defined. So just take little sections and continue to do this throughout the whole, um, the whole wig. Um, there is, uh, this wig is crocheted onto a braided, um, wig cap. And there is little sparse areas in the back. I mean, if you want to go in and add extra hair, you can. But just because I don't like so much hair, I didn't. But um, it'll be a good idea to go in and add some more hair. If you'd like to wear this hair um, outside or, you know, just wear it outside, period. If you want to, you can add um, add some uh, hair in the back area, some conical on here. You can add it in the back and make it a little more um, full back there. But anyway, um, I'm continuing rotting the hair and I'm brushing it out on the ends. Well, I already did brush it out, but since there's so much hair, it gets tangled very, um, very quickly. So that's why I, I keep my brush like close to me so that I can um, add, continue to uh, brush it out so it doesn't tangle on me. So I'm going to continue rotting and I'm sorry if my hand is in the way. I, this is my first time doing a, like doing this type of stuff on camera. So it was kind of awkward for me. So I'm sorry if you guys can't see the technique I'm using, but I'm basically just uh, wrapping the hair around it. That's the best way I can explain it. I'm basically just wrapping the hair around it. And when I get to the end, I fold it up so that the ends, um, so that it doesn't unravel and come loose. So I'm just going to speed up this part because most of us already know how to rod and there's so many videos out there about um, using flexi rods and stuff like that. So I'm going to speed this part up. And as I get to the back, I'm gonna um, continue brushing because I didn't actually buy a wig stand. This is an old tripod that I was using, so the hair got a little tangled back there too. Now this is the wig finished, um, when we finished flexi riding the whole thing. And like I said, you can see the sparse areas in the back. But for the curls to stay, since this is synthetic hair, I will have to uh, dip it in some hot water. So get yourself a bowl. Uh, take the cap off, take the wig off the um, the wig head, of course. And I'm just gonna show you the um, the parting space in the front. I did put some concealer on it and I plucked it a little bit, so I tweaked it to my liking. It, this wig also comes with um, four combs, and that's a little lace area that is on the cap. Um, this wig also comes with four combs. I think there's two. There's one at the front right there two on the sides and one in the back and there's also um adjustable adjustable straps and it is big head friendly just in case you were wondering i do have a big head and i do have a lot of hair on top of that big head so yes this um 
This wig is big head friendly, so you don't have to worry about that. Now I place it into um, the bowl. I'll take it into my kitchen, put some hot water on there, let it dry. So now it's been like a day later. So now I'm unraveling, um, actually I'm taking out the rods. And uh, as you can see, the end is kind of like fuzzy and stringy. So I'm going to use my shears just to cut those, um, those ends off because it doesn't look good. But first, let me take out all the rods so I can see how the hair looks. And at this part right here, I was like super excited because I really wanted to see like how it was going to come out and stuff like that. Because I've had this wig for a minute, I just, I've worn it like maybe in two tutorials that I've done on YouTube. But I haven't like styled it or anything, so I decided to do this to see how it looks. Or how it would look if I curled it up. Now just take your time when you're taking down the, um, taking out the rods because you don't want the hair to be too fuzzy by the time you're finished. And I'm just speeding up this process because I'm sure everyone knows how to take out um, flexi rods. It's like the easiest thing. And so far, I was happy with um, the result of flexi riding the hair because it really looks pretty. So, like I said before about the scissors, I'm going to go in and trim the ends. And like any, um, any like flyaway kind of ends that's not curled, it's just sticking out. I'm going to trim that. So that's what I'm doing right here. I'm just clipping that off. Not too much. That's a prime example of what I'm talking about. So I'm just gonna clip that off as well. Just a little bit. Okay, so the next step is going to be adding some uh, a little bit of oil to the hair because it was kind of looking dry on my end. I don't know if it's showing up on camera. It looks a little dry, but it was looking dry on my end. So I decided to use some of my hair oil, just a little bit, not a lot, because you don't want to build up product on the wig. So I take some of my hair oil, I pour it a little bit in the palm of my hand, rub my hands together, and I try to distribute it um, throughout the hair by just um, squeezing the curls and giving it a little bit of um, sheen per se, because it's not, um, like I said, it's not um, human hair or virgin hair or whatever. It's synthetic. Okay, so once I've done that, I'll start separating the curls. And this is, this is a kind of a tricky part because separating the curls can make the hair frizzy and you don't, once the hair gets frizzy, it gets big and out of control. So just take your time. Um, I did have some leftover oil on my hand. So that actually helped me to keep the frizz minimum. And I actually went in and added a little bit more oil just in the palm of my hands to keep the frizz to the lowest level possible. Because I don't, not that I don't like big hair, it's just that I can't deal with big hair. So. I tend to stay with hair that I can actually manage. Okay, so once I've done, um, once I've done, well, basically uh, plucking the curl or pulling them apart, so to to make the wig um, appear more fuller, because when I had the rods in, it actually made the hair look thin. So once I'm done doing that, I'm going to go in with the shears again 
and I'm going to uh, trim the front to my liking. I really wanted to do uh, a middle part with it. So you'll see me cut one side shorter than, uh, not a middle part, I'm sorry. I really wanted to do a side part with it. So you'll see me cut one side shorter than the other. But you can cut it however you like. Um, it's up to you how you style your wig. And everything will be in the description box, including a link to where you can purchase this wig on Amazon and on um, Sam's Beauty, the site that I bought it from. It's a little cheap on Amazon though. But uh, yeah, this is me going in with the shears. And now I'm going to take my Aussie uh, Instant Freeze Spray. I like the spray because it holds whatever style it is in the hair in place for a longer period of time so you don't have to keep styling it. And I'm not wearing this wig outside or I'm not going anywhere with this wig so I just wanted to hold the curls if I want to use it again at a different time. Now I'm applying some olive oil to add more sheen to it and this is pretty much it. This is the finished product. I'm sorry, the sun was coming through my window, so excuse the little lighting area right there. But um, yeah, this is the finished product for the wig. And I'm gonna insert a clip of me actually wearing the wig and how it looks on me. I know my hair and the wig is not blended, blended and all that stuff because I didn't feel like doing all of that. I just wanted to show you guys how the wig looked on me. So here is that and I hope you guys enjoyed the video like I said everything will be linked in the description box below and I'll see you babies on my next video thanks for watching